Hi everyone, this is uh, Drew, so we're going to go over the programming right now for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, so, first thing is always that I do if I want to create a new profile for a game is I'm going to kind of piggyback off of one of these um, Quadsic Factory profiles. I can't edit any of these directly, I have to make a copy of them and then edit the copy. So I'm going to find a game that's similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, the one that comes to mind um, most, um, let's say Red Dead isn't on here, it might be on here, but um, just for the sake of giving an example, so like um, a similar game would be Grand Theft Auto. They're both by, made by the same company, um, so they're going to have similar controls. So I'm going to open Grand Theft Auto. So wait for it to open here. Okay, so I can't actually edit this one, like I said before, because this is the factory profile. I have to here, go here, so I'm going to go to File, make a copy, and I'm just going to call it Red Dead 2. Okay, so I'm going to close the factory one now that I made a copy of it. We're just going to wait for the copy of it to load up here. Okay, so now it's loaded up. First thing I want to do is change this CSV file name. So I'm just going to go here, and I'm just going to do R D R to test. So that's going to be our Red Dead Redemption profile here. Remember, we always want to change both the CSV file name and um, the name of the file up here too. Um, more, more importantly, the CSV file so it doesn't override any profile with a similar name. Um, so here I'm just going to edit our main profile. So um, third profile over, which is the right joystick. So that means the quad stick, joystick on the quad stick is the right joystick on the controller. So the reason I want that one as my main one is because um, I actually don't need that left, the whole left joystick in order to to play for my main profile. Um, here I can actually just under left joy up, you see this one will actually hold that left joystick up for me. Um, I can set this as toggle. So now when I just do a quick left and center puff into the quad stick, it'll actually hold that left joystick up for me. And then just by moving the joystick on the quad stick, so that'd be that right joystick and changing my view left and right. Um, that'll actually also turn my guy left and right, and you'll see that when Robert's playing a little bit. Um, and that's the reason we actually don't need the the left joystick, um, the whole left joystick on the quad stick. One thing I want to specify here is what I mean by main profile. So this is the one he's primarily going to be in when he's in gameplay. So when he's running around, fighting on his horse, and just on the map, um, he will occasionally need like the d-pad controls which is that fourth tab down there and also that left joystick when he's like navigating the menu or on the map so those ones are still utilized um, but since we can do this this unique trick with the left joystick and then also the right joystick when he's playing um, just by toggling forward and then moving it the right joystick left and right for turning um, he can get around having to switch profiles when he's actually um, in gameplay mode so um, that's primarily what I mean by main profile. So he will need those other two. Um, they're just not as utilized because of what we're doing here with the left joystick. Um, so then I'm actually just going to, we don't need to go backwards here, so I'm just going to delete left joy, joy down so there's no control controlling it on the quad stick. I um, actually don't need D-pad south here on my regular one either, so I'm just going to remove this one as well. Um, yeah, and I would probably do a little bit more polishing of this if I was if I was going to end up using this profile um, and moving things around a little bit more, but this is just an example of how we would change the profile for this game, um, so I'm not going to go too much into making it perfect. Um, so this looks good to me, so you have left joy up, is toggle on, um, in that left and center puff. So when I puff in the left and center one, that'll hold the left joystick up, 
and my guy will just start walking forward and then just by moving the joystick on the quad stick that'll move that right joystick and allow me to change my view and turn my guy left and right. Okay, so um, here you can see it says left one. So left one, if I just tap left one in the game, that's actually going to holster and unholster my gun. So I'm actually going to put this one as normal um, because I don't need to hold it down to un holster and unholster my gun. Um, and now I'm just going to I'm going to keep his left sip. Um, left two, which is actually aim in the game. Um, I actually want to keep that one as toggle because when you're aiming you um, don't want to have to keep holding down aim because then you can't shoot because it's impossible to um, shoot and aim then at the same time because you can't puff into two different things um, and activate two different things at the same time. So I'm going to put this one as toggle so that'll actually just I'll sip it, puff it once and it will hold aim for me and then I can just go over to shoot and shoot so I don't have to keep on um, puffing into this to hold down aim, and I'll keep that as left puff. Um, L3, which that is actually crouch in the game, um, I'm going to keep that one as left and center sip, and that's just going to be normal, I don't need to hold that one down. Um, right one, which that one is take cover, so I'm going to keep that one as lip. Um, so that one's a, that one's quite used quite a bit in combat, so um, and lip's a pretty quick one to access, so I'm going to keep that one as lip there. Um, right two, which that one is shoot in the game. So um, that one's going to keep that one as a right puff. So when I just puff into that one, um, that will shoot. Um, so if my guys, if I wanted to like aim and shoot, I would sip into left two and that would toggle on aim. Um, and then I would um, puff in right two and that would shoot. Um, right three, um, which it's by itself doesn't really have um, any important control to it. Um, I'm going to keep that as right and center sip, but so we don't really need right three by itself, but R3 and R and L3 at the same time, that turns on our uh, dead eye. So I'm actually going to put another control down here for left three, because by holding um, L3 and R3, which are um, the joystick buttons. So when you push down the joysticks, it'll activate um, them both. Them the buttons on the joysticks and activating both at the same time will um, activate Dead Eye. Um, and then, so here I want to activate L3 and R3 at the same time. And so I'm gonna do this one normal. I'm gonna put this as the same sip and puff control as my R3. Um, because I want them when I sip when I puff in that one or sip in that one, I want them to both activate at the same time. And that one was um, left and oh, it was right and center sip. There. So when I do a right and center sip, that'll that'll hold down or not hold down. It'll it'll tap um, R3 and L3 at the same time. Um, X which that is if I keep tapping X in the game that'll get my guy into a sprint um, it's other functions as well but it's primarily sprint um, so I'll keep that one as a right sip so when I keep sipping into it um, it'll get my guy into sprint um, circle um, circle in the game is um, that one is reload or melee attack I'm gonna keep that one as center puff um, because that one's an important one to keep in the middle to be able to access quickly. Um, square, which is jump in the game. I'm going to keep that one as center sip. Triangle, which is getting on and off your horse primarily. It's other things as well. Um, is going to be right and center puff. Um, and I'm always going to keep these ones the same here. So my select um, PS3 um, or PS4 button and start. I'll keep those ones the same as well. One thing I'm going to add here too is this one is a little um, trick just to help with gameplay. So um, my left two, which is aim, I'm going to force turn off when I activate right sip. So I'm going to talk through this one a little bit here. So right sip is actually going to be when I tap back. So that's going to be my sprint. And L2 is my aim. 
So what this is actually doing is when I actually begin to sprint, it'll force get me out of aim. Because one problem um, you have sometimes is if you're in a gunfight and you want to get away quick because um, you're you're getting shot and you're about to die, you want to get kind of get out of there really quickly. Um, and if your guy's in aim and you kind of panic and you try to start sprinting, well, your guy's in aim, you're, he's not going to go very fast. So this way, when you start to want to sprint, it'll actually force turn off aim so you don't have to worry about um, going over to L2 and toggling that one off before you start sprinting again. Um, so this this way is just a little trick to to help with the gameplay a little bit and make things easier when you have to um, run away in a gunfight. So these are all the controls for um, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, actually there's one additional one I forgot about here. So um, one other thing you need to do is is hold down uh, L1 to access the the weapon wheel. So that's how you change your weapon in the game. Uh, so since we already have an L, we already do have an L1 here, um, and that's but that's only normally activated. So to do the weapon wheel, you actually have to hold down L1 for a pro prolonged period of time, and then use the joystick on the quad stick to select your weapon. Um, it'd be it works out better if actually if left one was toggle in this case because then we just have to do it once and it would actually hold it down for us. So if we let's just add an, a left one up here and let's do we'll do um, a center puff soft. So this is the way we want to do a center puff soft in the quad stick. It'll actually bring up that weapon wheel for me. Um, and it'll toggle it on so I don't have to keep holding down L1. I'll just, I just have to do one, one center puff soft in the quad stick. And it will hold down L1 and bring up the weapon wheel. And then I can move the joystick to select the weapon. And then when I want to get out of there and um, get out of the weapon wheel again, I just do another left, um, I mean a center puff soft and that releases L1 and gets me out of the weapon wheel. Um, so that, that there, that's the last control and um, those are, uh, that's pretty much what the main profile is for Red Dead um, for Robert. Um, and that's how we would kind of change things and uh, for, and, and some of the reasoning behind why we changed some of these things to what we did. Okay, we're here with Robert again. We're gonna go over the controls for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, so first, our walk forward is gonna be that, uh, it's gonna be that toggle left joystick forward is gonna be our left and center puff. So that's just gonna to toggle that left joystick forward. Next, X, which is sprint in the game. Um, you have to tap X to sprint. That's gonna be right sip. Um, circle. Uh, which is reload in the game is going to be center puff. Square, which is jump in the game, is going to be center sip. Triangle, which is um, primarily to get on and off the horse, but additional things in the game as well, is going to be right and center puff. R1, which is um, cover in the game, is going to be that lip. It's going to be that lip switch down there. R2, which is shoot in the game, is going to be right puff. Just tapping L1 is going to be left sip. Aim toggle, which is L2 in the game, is going to be left puff. To bring up the weapon wheel, which is actually you have to hold down L1, so it's going to toggle L1, is going to be a center puff soft. Um, L3 in the game is going to be left and center sip, and that's crouch. Um, dead eye, which actually you have to hold R3 and L3 at the same time, is going to be right and center sip. So those are the controls for uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, now we'll start playing here and you guys can see some of those controls in action.
Okay, right now we're just going to go over the controls with Robert playing. So he's doing that left and center puff, so that's going to hold that left joystick forward for him, and it's going to just toggle it on. So it's gonna, this guy's going to start walking forward. If he wants to toggle it off, then he does that left and center puff again, and that um, turns off that left joystick forward, so now his guy stops moving. Um, he doesn't have to keep puffing into it. When he toggles it on here, you see he's just he puffs into it once, and he just holds that left joystick forward so his guy can start moving forward. And then when he does it again, it makes his guy stop moving. Um, and then by turning um, the joystick on the quad stick left and right, which is that right joystick, he can turn his player left and right. Um, you actually don't need the left and right on the left joystick. Um, just because, just by turning your view left and right while your guy's walking forward, you can actually turn left and right in the game. And that's why programming the joystick this way, we actually don't need that left and right on the left joystick, just because by moving that right joystick left and right when we're moving forward, um, we can just turn our guy anyways. So then we can get around having to put those extra controls on the quad stick. So it's a similar concept here while Robert's uh, riding a horse. Um, so he just toggled on that left joystick, so we did that left and center puff, and that just holds that left joystick forward for him. And his horse, you see, just he just walks forward, and he's just moving that um, joystick on the quad stick left and right to um, turn his view left and right. Here, you see, he did a sprint. So actually, how you do sprint in the game is you tap the X button. Um, X on the quad stick, in this case, is that right sip. So he just consistently um, uh, sips into that right sip and that gets his horse to sprint. Um, you see here he's just gonna horse jack someone. Don't know how he did that but he just did it so now he's got a new horse. Um, you see he's just tapping that X button again uh, to sprint so he just keeps tapping and that makes your guy go faster and faster. So then he just keeps sipping and sipping on that um, right sip and puff just to keep tapping that X then. Um, to keep sprinting. Um, here you see he has no trouble just navigating through the trails just by moving that right joystick which is the joystick on the quad stick while his horse is moving forward. Um, here he's just going to dismount so that's triangle so that's going to be right and center puff on the quad stick. Okay now we're going to go over shooting in the game so to unholster your gun in the game you're going to do L1 which is that left sip. So there it is left sip and then to aim so to toggle on aim you're going to do left puff which is L2. So that's going to toggle on aim. Then to shoot, it's R2, so that's right puff. Um, since aim's on toggle, to toggle it out of aim, you're going to do that left puff again, and that releases you from aim. So remember, toggle means that once you just puff into it once, it'll just hold it there for you. You don't have to keep puffing into it. So on aim here, when he's aiming, see how it's just, it just keeps on aim. He doesn't have to keep puffing into anything it's because it's toggling it on and then to get out of it again you just have to puff and do again and that turns it off um, this way you don't have to keep on holding aim down because um, otherwise it would be impossible to shoot if you had to keep puffing into aim and um, try to shoot at the same time so now here Robert's going to do a center puff soft so that's just going to hold L1 down so it's going to toggle it on and that brings up that weapon wheel and then to toggle it off again he does the center puff soft again and that um, releases L1. So weapon wheel in the game is if you hold down L1 then you can pick your weapon with the right joystick. So then by toggling on L1 with center puff soft he can use that joystick on the quad stick to choose which weapon he wants to change to and then does the center puff in it again to, um, to release L1 and get out of the weapon wheel. Here he's just uh, uh, going into town here and you get kind of see um, some of the um, shooting in action here.
So that's all I have for Red Dead Redemption 2 for the quad stick. I'll leave a link to that spreadsheet file that we went over today. Um, it'll be a little bit more cleaned up because today I just went over how to start the, the spreadsheet for it. Um, I'm also going to put a link to a, a different spreadsheet for Red Dead Dead Redemption 2 for another individual I work with who who likes that profile a lot as well and I've had success with that profile too so um, they're just the con the outlay on the controller is just a little bit different the second one I'll post that we didn't do today it just kinda brings all the shooting controls more to the middle of the mouse pe mouthpiece rather than, than the side of the, of the mouthpiece um, so those will be there for your reference um, these controls um, even though we went over this on PlayStation, they'll work fine with the Xbox as well, because that converter piece will just convert these PlayStation controls to Xbox. Uh, so look be below for that link.